What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this calendar date picker with Kenter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna make this calendar, but before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to check out CodyB.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna make this cool little date picker. And here you can, you know, pick a date, click the button, and then it outputs the date, right? You can do anything you want with the date itself. And you could change the year if you want, and you can change the month and do all the things. And uh, it's pretty cool. So it is Friday here in Vegas. I'm very excited for no apparent reason because I have no plans this weekend, but it's Friday and I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so uh, this shouldn't take very long. It's actually pretty easy. So, all right, I've got a file. I've called it my underscore cal.pi, short for calendar. Don't name your file calendar.py because that'll throw things off because we're making a calendar and we're calling a calendar and it can confuse things. So I'm gonna call it my cal.py and we've got our basic Kinter starter code. So we're importing Kinter, we're creating a root thing. Uh, we've got our title, our little icon, and our dimensions, and our main loop. So I'm using the Sublime Text Editor, as always, and the Git Bash Terminal. So the first thing we need to do is come down to our terminal and install a little calendar program, because Kinter doesn't come with a calendar widget, right? So we have to kind of hack one together using this other calendar program, and so we need to install that calendar program. So from our terminal, we're in our C GUI directory, and we just go pip install and this is TK calendar. So it's C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R. And obviously stands for TK calendar. And I've already installed it, so it's giving me a little error saying, hey, you've already installed it. But for you, it'll go through and do its little installation and uh, shouldn't take but a second. Now, head back over to our code and we need to import that. So let's go from TK calendar, import everything. So, okay, let's start out by creating a button. So let's go my underscore button equals, this is a button and we wanna put it in root. We want the text to say, I don't know, get date or something. And we want the command to equal, let's call this date or grab underscore date, whatever. So we'll make a function for that in just a second. So now let's my button dot pack this onto the screen and let's give this a pad y of 20 to push it down a little bit. So now let's create that function. So define grab date. Now, before we do that, let's create a label underneath this. Let's call this my label. And this is a label. And we want to put it in root and we want the text to equal nothing right now. And then let's put this on the screen. So my label dot pack. And again, we'll give this a pad y of 20 to push it down a little bit. So this is the label we want to output the date. Now, with our date picker, our calendar thing, you can do anything you want with the date. But just for example purposes, I'm just gonna output it on the screen so that you can see it, right? So inside of here, when we grab the date, let's configure our label. So my label dot config, and we want the text to equal something. And we'll, we'll get this in just a second. So now let's come up here and create the actual calendar itself. So I'm gonna call it cal, show for calendar, and this is gonna be a calendar. I always misspell calendar. I always wanted to call it C-L-A-N-D-E-R, but it's C-L-E-N, D-A-R, and we wanna put this in a root. Now, here are the, the different options we can do. We need to tell it a few things. So the first thing we wanna tell it is select mode, and we wanna set that equal to day. Then we wanna set the year. So what's the default year that's showing? Well, we're in 2020 right now, so I'll put 2020. And what month do we wanna show? Well, this is May, so I'll put five. So January, February, March, April, May, five. And then we can actually pick the date too that we want to be selected by default. You don't have to, but today's the 22nd. Friday, Friday. So let's go ahead and do that. And then just like anything, we can just cal.pack and let's give this a pad Y of 20 to push it down a little bit. And that's all there is to it. That's it, that's all we have to do to create our calendar. Now we can play with this a little bit and we will in just a minute, but that will work. So to get the thing that we click on in the calendar, we just call down here, we can go cal, which is what we named it, and then just call get underscore date, which is a function, and that's it. So this should work. Let's go ahead and save this and head over here and let's go Python my underscore cal dot pi. And when we do, 
boom, there it is. So if we click on the 12th here and click the button, it says 5, 12, 20. And that's all there is to it. We could switch the month to April, April 14th, boom, 4, 14, 20. Just that easy. We could change the year. And uh, very cool. Now we can change this output any way we want to, as we always do with, you know, text type things. For instance, we could go, let's see where we at. The text, we could say, uh, today's date is, and then just concatenate this on there. We don't even have to change it to a string, I don't think. So if we save this and run it, so 22nd, today's date is 5-22-20. If we do the 12th, changes just like that. So very cool. So the other thing I want to talk about is the size of this thing. This is the default size, but we can have any size we want. So let's look at that, head back over here. And for when we pack this on the screen, we can give this a fill equals both and a expand equals true. And we've done this sort of thing for like frames and things in the past where we expanded them into the size of the container. So if we save this and run it, you'll see now, boom, it's expanded to the size of the window that it's in, right? So we can, it still works normally. Now the reason why it's not all the way down here is because we have these other things that have been pad wide of 20. So it's, it's putting that in there, right? And this itself has a pad Y of 20. So there's, you know, space above and below it for that. Now, that's one way to do it. Now, if you wanted to make this a specific size, you could always put this in a frame. And we already know how to make frames any size we want. So just make your frame however sized you want it. And then put this in the frame. Lots of different ways you could do it. And I'll let you play around with that. So that's how you create a calendar, very easy. You just have to remember to import this TK calendar little program and then uh, pip install it from the command terminal. And that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDF versions of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codeby.com, and we'll see you in the next video.